Hello, if you are new, my name is Kara and I started over on TikTok and then I ventured over to YouTube because it's just a lot easier to give more in-depth videos. So today I'm just going to go and get started with curling my hair. So this is my hair completely air dried. I am going to be using the Ironclad from Joyco. It is one of my favorite heat protectants. And then I am going to use a wet brush to comb it through. I like to part my hair in three different sections. Usually I use a clip, but I don't know where my clips all went. I'm just going to use a hair tie, and I like to section usually right at the top of the ears down for my first layer. I have longer hair, so I am going to be using an inch and a quarter titanium curling iron. I like titanium more for thick or coarse hair. And you can get away using ceramic if you have fine hair. If your hair is not holding curl with a ceramic, try titanium. If your hair is shorter than about where your armpit is, I think I would use a one inch curling iron, but I like an inch and a quarter for my length. And I always start going away from my face. Leave a little bit of a tail out. You don't have to hold it for very long. And then I like to twist as I release it. Do not comb that through. Sorry if you notice I keep looking up. I have like a little viewfinder above the camera. And I realize that I like to take everything that is on this side back. So again, leaving just that little tail out. And I'm not even gonna un I'm not even gonna click this right here. So it doesn't look good right now, but you got to let it cool and then we comb our fingers through it and it all comes together. And then on this side, we are just going to do the exact same thing. You want the clamp to be facing the front. Take the hair. You want to start in the middle. Do not start from the end and roll up because then you're just frying the hair that's on the ends. I just keep twisting it as I go. Curling is something that takes a little bit of practice. You don't just curl your hair for the first time and it's perfect. So start in the middle, click it down, roll it back up. I'm just going to hold both my hands down here and I'm going to twist. So I'm going to kind of pull it down and then you don't have to do this. It just kind of gives it more of that like beachier wave. So now you have these ugly little curls, but just let them cool like that. And now I like to part about my temples back. Starting with this side, clamp it right there in the middle, slide it down, roll it back up, leave your tail, unloop it, roll it backwards, roll it back, roll it back, and then you get that right there. So I have a lot of questions about the Lange products. I think that's how you say it. And I think that their tools are good quality. I've heard a lot of good things about them. I've never used them personally, but I've heard, I've heard good things about them. My favorite curling iron, this one is just hot tools. I got this actually at TJ Maxx for 20 bucks. So if you're needing hair tools, honestly, that's where I would go. <laughs> if you're on a really tight budget, go to Goodwill. There's nothing wrong with that. Some people want to say like, ooh, they're used. Um, I hate to break it to you, but at a salon, they're used too. <laughs> we use them from client to client and it's not like there's going to be lice living on it or anything because it's, it's hot. It would burn it. Whatever you do, do not spray hairspray on your hair before you curl it. Please don't do that. That is not good for your hair at all. So yes, I am somebody that does a middle part. And if you've been wanting to do a middle part, just do it. I got out of the shower and Johnny looked at me and my fiance looked at me and said, what are you doing? <laughs> because it looked slightly ridiculous. And yes, I comb these front pieces out because I want them to be super loose. I comb them out right away with my fingers. But yeah, with the middle part, you just gotta do it. Don't... I always used to say, I can't pull that off. I wish I could. Just do it. 
I've started doing that with everything and let me tell you, it feels good. Sorry if you notice that I keep looking this way. My big mirror is over here. It's a lot easier. Curling, looking at that. I was asked quite a few times about my favorite heat protectants and I will make a whole video on them. I gotta try out some more first because I've been so stuck on my ironclad. I just gotta try new ones. I do not like a heat protectant that has hold in it. I do not like that at all for my hair. Some other people might like that if their hair does not hold curl very well, but my hair typically can hold curl for like three days. I don't know how. I think it's because it's a little fried. It's fine. So on the front pieces, I like to just take my bangs in a smaller section. I call them my bangs. They're just like my face framing pieces. And I like to pull it more down, leave a little bit of a tail, and just do it really quick and then comb it out while it's still warm just so it's kind of relaxed. And honestly, usually I have to curl these about two or three times to make them look the way that I want them to, which is so bad. One of my tricks to get your curls to stay is to not comb your fingers through until it has cooled completely. So usually whenever I'm getting ready to go somewhere, typically I will curl my hair first, leave my curls in this stage, and then do my makeup, get dressed, and right before I leave, I will run my hands through my curls just to separate them. And I think that is why my curls stay so long usually. But today I decided to put on makeup for my first video so I didn't scare people. And I am a terrible hairstylist. If you're a hairstylist and you're watching this, um, don't listen. <laughs> I curl my hair on the highest setting. But I also don't leave it in for very long. So this is the fun part. You have your curls all just sitting here. Just take your fingers and run them through. Now I'm going to use one of my favorite texturizing sprays and that is the Verb C Texture Spray. It has a light hold to it. I just like to hold it up at my roots to give some volume. And it just adds a little bit of life to this side. Texture spray is your best friend. I don't use hairspray. I just use a good texture spray. Sometimes I think people will use too much hairspray because they think it's going to hold their curls and it really just weighs them down. If you like this video or learn something, please be sure to subscribe. That would help me out a ton. Feel free to follow my TikTok. My username is k.lynn.co. Also, comment and let me know what you want to see next because I bought a camera with no game plan. So I will see you in my next video.